What, are you blind? What, you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I work here. And what great work you do, Sheriff. Hmm, that didn't feel very genuine. Fucker. Accuse me of impropriety. Yes, I see. I, I... You, because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster. It isn't anyone's fault. Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Oh, is that how you see things? Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fabletown. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. Because right now, I have half a mind to fire the both of you. Bluebeard was mentioned. Don't be absurd. Bluebeard is out of the country as we speak. So don't even think about accusing him of such a treacherous affair. The guy has a history of beheading young women. I'd say that's something worth checking out. If all you're operating off of is ancient history, we're all in much more trouble than I imagined. By that rationale, you're a suspect as well, Wolf. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fabletown knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes? Sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. Do your job, Sheriff. Or we'll find someone who can. You know what? Stop. We'll get on it right away, sir. You would have just pissed him off more. All right. Well, that could have gone better. Well, I guess I should have listened to you and waited. Wasn't gonna say I told you so. You don't have to say it. It would have been better to have more to offer. Get our ducks in a row. Oh. Crane doesn't like people smoking and... Never mind. Smoke away. Um... What's the waddle Why about? To a massage? Probably a gift. The weird part of that is that he's actually being nice to someone. I know I bought that damn bottle. Oh shit, is... what's that? Is he gone? Yes, thankfully. Flying monkey. Buff kid. He stole it. Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking this early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. How are you today, Mr. Bigby? Fine, Buffkin. Thanks for asking. Buffkin, get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. Mm, not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. He knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buff can find them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. I really have to get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. 
So I'm going to try and be kind to most of the characters. Hi, this is Snow White. It might help us with the investigation. It might help us out. Be kind to them, so... What's this mirror going to do? Magic mirror. I got a question. Oh, sick. You know the rule. I don't have time for this shit. Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel, but have some respect for our history and rules. <sighs> mirror, mirror. Uh, if you're able, tell me all about this fable. See? Was that so hard? Yeah, I'm about two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. There's no need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? Um... Was it Buffkin? Show me Buffkin. Hey! Put down the bottle and get to work! <laughs> Still looking! <laughs> you check your lines too? Man, what's this game freezing? Woodsman. Show me the woodsman. Where is he? What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down a street. No shit. Which street? I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. Man, what's all these rhymes? Show me Snow White. Not much of a request. She's in this very room. I don't know her name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do, I can't help you. You try Woodsman again? Show me the Woodsman. Well, he's chundering now. He's throwing up. Okay, that'll do us. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else. Or someone new. Okay, so that mirror was pretty much useless. What's he got here for us? A flying monkey and slash elf. Well, I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so we got the ring, we got the bit of clothing. Let's have a look around and find any more evidence. This is gonna be awesome. I can't wait to find out how this goes down and let's go and talk to the monkey. Can we do that? Now, there's a few books to look at though. We'll start with these. Any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. Okay, what the hell? Colin and his brothers. Some of them pigs. Beauty and happier days. Oh. Hmm. I think her name was Red. She didn't make it out. That would go with the uh, Red Hood. Red Riding Hood's knight in shabby armor. The woodsman? Yep. And his axe. Woodsman's crazy, man. Look at this wolf. Is that supposed to be me? And there's me. Not a good day. Oh shit! It is him! I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be me. Man, that- oh, look at them dwarfs! Look at them eyes, that's crazy! They're looking mean. Okay, what else is there to look at? I've seen this before. This symbol on the man's clothes, it's the same as the rings. Could be her father, or husband. This has most of the emblems of the old days, and usually what family they come from. If it's in here, we'll have her name. Okay, let's kind of look at this book. Book of Symbols. Okay, so where's that ring? So far, it's the only thing we can look at. Uh, great. What? I can't read any of this shit. I can help. Yeah, thanks. We 
we look out for each other? Don't overdo it. Buffkin, translate. Hmm, an exquisite design from the good china of Toad Hall. Mr. Toad? He probably wrote this in himself. Okay, so that's going to work well now. He's going to help us out because we're kind to him. Okay, here it is. Isn't that supposed to be it there? Okay, here it is on the ring. This is the one. Where is this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alelairo? I'll go look it up. Alelairo. That means every kind of fur in German. Donkey skin. Yes. What does it say? Donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin, also known as <laughs> ass skin, <laughs> prefers to go by the name Faith. Poetic? Buffkin, we don't need the commentary. The story of donkey skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... Oh. His daughter, Faith. She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. Should I... Mark it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please. And what's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. We got what we came for. Yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than her we... name was Faith. Yeah. We should talk to the husband. You think he did it? Um, I suppose we can't rule him out. Could be our first suspect. This sort of thing. It's usually the person who knew them best. Or it's someone completely random. So I wonder if we're going to find out who the killer is by the end of the first episode or have to wait until the whole series. Have to wait and see. So it's kind of interesting how like all these fairy tales fit into this game. What else is there to look at? Is there anything else in the books maybe or... It's only those two books, maybe it's time to go and talk to the husband. What's this? Tarot cards. Jack brought them back from Appalachia. Who knows where they were before then. Or what he did to get them. Strength. I guess it comes in all forms. So is he just turned to the wolf when he's angry or is it something to do with knights as well? Okay, let's just check the mirror again and see if we can look at the husband maybe. Or, yeah, faith. Mirror, mirror, blah, blah, Abel, blah, blah, blah about this fable. <laughs> of which fable do you wish to know? He's a prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. What's he been doing? Where is this? Where's what? Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. Shit, so he's a suspect as well. What was that? Show me Faith's father, the old king. Guess that crosses him off the suspect list. So he's already dead. Let's check out Faith. Show me... Show me Faith. Through powerful magic, her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. What? 
these lips are sealed. It's not my choice of phrasing, baby. It's simply the way this has to be. Nobody right now. Anything we can use? Yeah, that'll have to do for now. Come on, we're going over there. Sorry, I have to get that. Hello, Woodland's business office. Yes, I... He is. Hold on. Bigby, it's for you. Bigby, it's me, Toad. You there? What do you want? Bigby, shit. Listen, right, there's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over here, Bigby, before he... Oh, wait, hang on. Not again. Boy, shit. Hey! What was that about? Hard to say. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. And we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. Whenever you're ready. Let's go. Did Toad say who was there? Was it the woodsman? I don't know. It's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, he didn't see him. He could use some help, too. Well, where to first? Big B! Shit! Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. Big B! It's me, Toad. Big B! Toad's in immediate trouble. We probably should go to Toad first. And then go and check out Lawrence. Big B! Lawrence can wait and Toad's in trouble, so we'll go, we'll go to Toad first. Toad sounds like he needs help right now. We can check in on Prince Lawrence after. Okay. I'm not looking forward to breaking the news to him anyway. <laughs> 